Welcome everyone on my blog. My name is Arkadiusz Biela. Today we will make a review of this one of these Chinese cheap multimeters. I pay for this multimeter about five dollars. You can buy that kind of multimeter, for example, or eBay. So well, let's see what is inside the box. So it's a multimeter and the probes. First of all, let's see how the probes look like. Okay, so one the red one and one black. First of all, when you buy this chip multimeters, you should glue this wire to this plastic probe because when you use it, um, this wire would like to come off from this probe. So buy a super glue and stick this probe to this plastic. Using this multimeter, you can measure uh, alternative voltage. The maximum value will be 750 volts. Uh, direct ampere. The maximum value will be 200 milliamperes. A different socket and range to measure a higher current that 200 milliamps is maximum value on this range will be 10 amps. There's also you can measure a transistor. Different socket for, for PNP transistor and NPN transistor. You can also diode check using this range. Uh, the next range will be uh, resistance. The maximum value you can measure will be 2000 kilo ohms. And the last range is the direct voltage. The maximum voltage you can measure using this multimeter will be 1000 volts. Um, there's uh, this socket used for black probe. You put here a black probe. It's also a ground probe. And, uh, another socket will be for red one probe. You can measure between this and this socket a voltage, resistance and current not higher than 200 milliamp max. What else? Using this uh, socket and this socket you can measure only a direct current and the maximum current you can measure is 10, 10 amps. Let's take a part. Oh, here are a poor quality of this multimeter. There's a no screws on this battery cover. So let's see what is inside. There's a battery here and the two holes. There's a two screws inside. So what is inside? The circuits are directly soldered to the PCB. The solder quality is not good. And uh, there's a main chip. It's the cheapest chip you can produce. It's only uh, some black blob on the PCB. So when it's broken, so when this chip is broken, you cannot repair it or do just nothing with it, but it costs five dollars, so you can buy a new one. All the multimeter. The PCB is, I think, it's a solder mask, and it's fine for a five dollar multimeter. So that will be all. Thank you for watching me. Bye.